but certainly a happy ending like you mentioned we spoke to his son Jeff Newman right here outside his home who said he didn't learn his father was on his way home until about 10 minutes after he landed in Beijing around 6 p.m. our time. NBC camera crew shot this video of 85 year old Merrill Newman walking through the Beijing airport just hours after his release. And I appreciate the tolerance that DPRK government has given to me to be on my way. How do you feel now? Feel good. Feel good. Newman, a Korean War veteran, went to North Korea on a tourist visa. But as he was leaving the communist country in October, a military officer boarded his plane and escorted him off. He was detained on charges of hostile acts against the state and accused of killing innocent civilians during the war. Congressman Adam Schiff told us tonight it's wonderful news Newman is home in time for the holidays. Uh, and this Korean War veteran uh, is coming home now and he's going to have yet another war story to tell. He is in excellent spirits and eager to be reunited with his family. Outside his Pasadena home tonight, Merrill Newman's son, Jeff Newman, thanked the U.S. State Department and the Swedish Embassy in North Korea for helping his father return home. We also want to thank the many Americans. As you can imagine, this has been a very difficult ordeal for us as a family, and particularly for him. First thing, what, what would you like to do? I'll go home and see my wife. Newman will see his wife tomorrow morning. He lives in Palo Alto. He's expected to land at SFO around 9 a.m. And NBC crews will be there for the homecoming. Now, North Korea says it released Newman on humanitarian grounds because he supposedly apologized. His son, Jeff, tells us that there will be more from his father about his unusual story after some well-deserved rest. Reporting live in Pasadena, Kate Larson, NBC4 News.